Greetings, Internetizens. This is Elmerfian playing Professor Layton in the Unwound Future. In the last episode, I found out that the evil professor is actually Dr. Stangan, who wants to steal the professor's memories and save Claire. But the professor has procured a body double in the form of Don Paolo. And uh, then Stangan absconded with the Prime Minister and set the building to self-destruct. Yeah, a decoy. Oh yeah, he's also some other guy from the past. Some guy named Dimitri. Intense music! The clock is wobbly! We're in luck! We found a hidden puzzle! But what is it? Oh, more math! Oh, 58? Shark? And a ball head with some swords. Looks like that ball is fenced off. Touching the squares on the scoreboard below will turn them from white to green. Both sides currently display 58, but Luke and Professor Layton are planning to touch each one square and create two different numbers. The difference will be 39. Oh. Square. Is it ninety eight? No, no, no. One each one square. Ninety eight fifty nine forty minus one. There's nothing like the sense of accomplishment that finishing a good puzzle brings. This is LA. Oh, I can leave this room. We can't head out that way. The family is bound to have men waiting for us below. So we can't leave this room. <laughs> Make a glider. This is wobbly too, but it was just a coin. Nothing in the books? Come on. Oh right, that's where the Prime Minister was. So we already know about that secret compartment. Anything new in the suitcase? Maybe there's a secret weapon. We scale the pagoda. Met future professor. And had a questionable logic fight. It's uh, Dimitri Allen. Yeah. He's kidnapped the prime minister and wants to save Claire. But where's the plot? Oh, oh, where's the progression? Is it here? No. It's a window. Maybe we need something to break it, but wait. 
And there's metal grapes in there. In this room. Something in the window. Flora just wants to glide again. <laughs> Here. Aha! There's a trip door here. Let my hand show strength. This is our ticket out. Oh, this stairwell is awful and narrow. And there's more than one path. Which way do we go, Leighton? Look, there's a map here that charts out the network of channels below us. Let me see. My, this is quite a bit of a tangled mess, isn't it? Oh, it's a maze, isn't it? It's a maze. In the dark maze of Thanos below, you can't turn unless you hit a wall. It's like an ice puzzle. Following this rule, you need to reach the goal without taking the same path twice or running into any dead ends. Which road should you take? Yeah, I'm dragging with my mouse. I've got a good feeling about this one. Well, that's settled. Passages below are too narrow for all of us to move through at the same time. If we wish to get out of here quickly, we'll need to split into two groups. Hmm. I don't like it, but it seems we've no choice. Now who should I take with me? Oh, is there a decision here? A decision that determines the ending? You always get to be the gentleman. This time, let me escort the young lady. Oh, he wants her to be his own apprentice. Sorry, but I'd prefer your coming with me, Don Paul. Very well then, Flora and I will break off. Look, you go with the professor and help him keep an eye on Don Paul. Little look, trade with me. I want to be in the professor's group. Flora will see each other soon enough. Go with Big Luke and we'll meet back at the hotel. Alright, our groups are set. Let's get moving. Ouch! What did I just run into? An evil robot? Let me guess. A wall? Let me feel. Hmm, this might actually be a door. 
But what if it's fake? Oh yeah, it is! There's a handle here! Phew. Great! Now where are we? We're at the bottom of an emergency stairwell. There should be a way out of the building here somewhere. Can't go back up. door should take us outside. Well, look at that. We made it out. The family is bound to have men in the vicinity. We need to put some distance between us and the pagoda. But first let's examine the big dragon door. In. Returning to the pagoda when it's under such heavy guard would be foolish and dangerous. <laughs> I still don't understand why Don Paolo's here. Can someone please explain that to me? Always with the questions. Won't you put a lid on it for a few minutes, you brat? I most certainly will not! Uh, honestly, you two, would you please stop bickering? You're on the same side. Oh, right now. And while I'm getting things off my chest, why the heck did I have to play the decoy who gets caught? Well, partially because of the memory stealing? So now Stanion has your evil mastermind memories? And maybe your tragic backstory? Calm now, Paul. It wasn't that bad. Your role was certainly the more exciting one. You're calling him Paul now? This is guy actually Professor, British. You still haven't explained what happened back there. I knew we'd be monitored from the moment we stepped foot inside the pagoda. So I wanted to make sure we had at least one trick up our collective sleeve. Don Paolo, master of deception and disguise, seemed like the perfect man to employ for the task. You two are friends? That's the first I've heard of this. Ha! Don't get it confused, kid. I'm no friend of his. We both want answers to the same questions. So we decided to work together. That's all. When did this start? Tell me, Luke. When we visited Dr. Schrader, did anything he said strike you as strange? I don't know. Something about the mouse on the x-ray? Not really. It was his greeting that made me suspicious. What? I don't remember. Huh? Who's that? Uh, oh, it's you, Herschel. And little Luke. Um, they was odd. It had been ten years. He could have forgotten. I don't know. Or did he... Uh, was he reading from a script? Sure, I remember it. But what of it? He didn't seem terribly surprised to see little Luke, did he? Oh, the time travel, he knew it. That's because he was abducted. And this Oh, he... of course. No, he wasn't In abducted. In the future, I'm not a kid anymore. But the doctor didn't even know. Maybe he knew about the abduction and the time travel. How? How? Precisely. Uh, and uh, he saw that the professor wasn't old. He didn't react to that either. That 
means Dr. Schrader was an imposter. <laughs> Don Paolo in disguise, yes. So you knew he was a fake before he even said four sentences. Wow, you're good, Professor. Right. He had to either be a fake or somehow in on the time travel. That planted the seed of doubt, though I didn't confirm my suspicion until much later. Is Don Paolo time traveling as well? Did Don Paolo pose as anyone else? Was he all the way? Yes. People? He did a bit of spying on us as Dean Del Mona when we met him last. Uh, is that how, why he was terrified of Flora? From the moment I laid eyes on him, it was obvious we were dealing with an imposter. Amazing! How did you know? His white hair gave it away. But white hair seems perfectly natural on a man his age. Not if he wears a wig. He let me in on his secret some time ago. <sighs> He's been bald for ages. <sighs> Don Paolo mistakenly selected a white wig to show how much Dean Del Mona had aged. Uh, he's Cheryl Clancy wow. again. Nice work there, Professor. Shortly after that, I confronted Don Paolo and had him tell me everything. It seems Dimitri had been paying him quite handsomely to make sure we headed toward the pagoda. He was a double agent! Sneaky man! I filled Don Paolo in on all the strange happenings we've witnessed here. And then I requested his assistance in solving this mystery. Well, that all makes sense, I suppose. But the part I still don't get is why Don Paolo decided he wanted to help us. After all, this is the fellow who tried to run us over with a Ferris wheel. That's none of your business, brat. Hey, call me a brat again and just see what happens. It was Claire, Luke. It all had to do with Claire. Oh, did he have a crush on her too? The woman Dimitri was talking about? Claire was my girlfriend back when I was just starting my academic career. She was a researcher who worked in the same laboratory as Dimitri. Oh no! So she... Yes. The last time I saw her, she was on her way to the lab the day of that massive explosion. The oddest thing is that the accident received very little media coverage. That's suspicious. It's clear someone with a lot of influence was suppressing information about the incident. I did everything I could to research the matter on my own. My efforts were largely fruitless. I had no idea. It's likely that Dimitri feels he is to blame for Claire's death. His obsession with going back in time seems like a twisted version of atonement. What a terribly sad story. But what does it have to do with Don Paolo? Well, Luke, as it turns out, Dimitri and I weren't the only ones with strong feelings for Claire. No way! You mean... What? Don't act so surprised. I have feelings too, you know. Yeah. Feelings other than anger and evil ambitions. Thanks for meeting me on such short notice, Herschel. Oh, <laughs> no. It's my pleasure. Here, this is for you. He kind of looks like what a Lego it? man. <laughs> a letter, of course. Read it at home. Why don't you just tell me what it says? I'm right here, after all. My, you're making this quite difficult. What I want to say is... Well... In short, this... <laughs> what? <laughs> he 
his hair is magic. What was that? Leighton has been my arch nemesis ever since that fateful day. Oh, so you're just trying to prevent them from getting together. I see. Yes, though it's worth mentioning that I had no inkling of Paul's crush until he told me himself. He was in the year above me at university. Imagine my surprise when I learned that Don Paolo was none other than my old classmate Paul. I had no idea you'd been through so much. Sorry for being so mean to you, um, Paul. Ugh. Spare me your sappy sympathy. And my name is Don Paolo. Address me as such, boy. Anyway, you put on quite the performance, uh, Don Paolo. With you distracting Dimitri, I had just enough time to do some sleuthing in the area. So that's what you were up to while we were climbing the pagoda. Did you find anything? Yes, but I need to confirm a few facts before I can connect all the dots. Then it sounds like that should be our next move. Where to, Professor? Oh, ho, ho. I'll let you ponder that for yourself. Huh. But first, we should head back to the hotel. Flora and the other Luke are waiting for us there. Oh, are we free to look for puzzles now? Is that a power plant? Alright, there's a banana here. Look, do you see what I see? I do! Yet another banana peel sitting in the middle of the road. I'll go pick it up. Not so fast. Why? What's wrong? Oh wait, let, let me guess. You've got another banana puzzle for me. Oh, oh. right you are, my boy. This would be easier with the arrow keys. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, how about fast? this? Phew. That's a relief. This banana peels are all over town. Do people in the future just love littering or something? With as many banana peels as we've encountered, it honestly wouldn't surprise me. That's sweet! I saw this one before seeing the previous one. <laughs> yeah, he feels guilty. Dexter is tough. Now what's here? What was the gardener doing? He has blue pants. That isn't entirely on bl in blue. <laughs> it's the boatman! Yeah, the fork belongs to the chef. Yes, the gardener has blue trousers. And he owns the trowel. I'm getting back to the hotel, so let's take the railway. Sounds good to me. Fine. And this is where we part ways. I've got other things to take care of. You sure you're not running off somewhere to formulate an evil plan of some sort? No. Why would you ever accuse me of that? Truly, I'm wounded. I'm just going to work on a pet project of mine that I've been meaning to finish. But is it another weapon? Very well, Paul. Meet up with us later when you're done. You can find us. Can it, Leighton? I'm not a fool. I know where to find you. And now he's gone. Are you sure it's safe to let him wander on his own like that? I understand your concern, but I think we can trust him this time. If you say so, Professor. He must have cared an awful lot for Claire if losing her to you turned him into Don Paolo. 
So it's more like he was pretty unstable beforehand. <sighs> At least he's uh, more open about his evil than Peter Bailey. He certainly was infatuated. But enough about that subject for now. We have work to do. Let's get moving, though. I still don't know where we're going, especially now that we know future Layton is a fake. Well, in light of these new developments, our first priority is to liberate the Prime Minister. Dimitri flew the towering pagoda with Mr. Hawks, so he clearly has another hideout in the area. And we're going to find his other base. Got it. Oh, but first we need to go to the hotel. That's right. We need to go pick up Flora. Hopefully she and Big Luke made it back to the hotel safely. So I can mess around, I think. Mural Man has got a union check on the wall. I see you've managed to lay down a rough sketch of the whole mural. It looks excellent. Yeah, yeah. It's really something else, isn't it? I'm glad I asked those kids to take the job. So. Are you going to color in the rest of the piece now? Of course! When it's done, it will be exploding with color. It's just going to take a while. I bet you can hardly wait, huh? Maybe this puzzle about painting will help you pass the time. Not sure if I noticed the red tick before. Tricolor template. Is it the three common flag colors? No, it's RYB. It's your job to paint a pyramid built from 21 circular pieces of wood. You've been given three colors. Before you get too creative, there's one important rule. Listen to your heart. <laughs> no, 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 this is that's from something else. And all two pieces of wood next to each other can be the same color. One piece has already been painted red. Finish painting the whole pyramid. What color will piece A be? <laughs> if there's only one option, it would probably be red, right? Well, no red next to this one. These are a yellow and a blue. This one red. Yellow and blue here, yeah! If there's only one option, it's red. <sighs> Let's see if I've got this right. Just as I suspected. I'd prefer a symmetrical pyramid, but that's impossible with this formation and the rules. <laughs> but with the don't hug me, I'm scared if I made <laughs> the main guys are those. No, 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 no. That guy is green and the yellow guy has blue hair. You guys have a way with puzzles. Color me impressed. Thank you and good luck with the rest of your mirror. I'm sure the finished product will be wonderful. Yep, you can count on me. <laughs> it's a Pegasus. Yeah. That's three TVs. And some paint cans. Next time you come by. The kids will be coloring the piece in. I can't wait. Oh, we get dialogue in the subway. We can get back to Flatstone Street in a chief if we take the underground railway. Uh, the 
do we have to? What was he thinking? Is something the matter? Oh, say! I was supposed to go hang out with my buddy at this place, but which flat is it? His instructions made zero sense. Zilch, I'll tell you! Can you make sense of them? S Sir, I'm an archaeologist, not an architect. A friend sent you an invitation to come and visit. The wording of his letter is a little odd. First, knock on a certain door. Where are the windows? Why are the doors uh, located like that? Knock on the door below and the door below that. Now knock on the door to the right of that one. Ha! <laughs> this can only be this one. I've got a good feeling about this one. Right or straightforward if there's only nine, but why are the doors just flying? Well, not flying. The doors are for people who can fly or have other boots. Hey, nice going! Lately my friend and I have been hanging out like every day. His parents are never home and neither is my dad. I stay cooped up at the research facility day and night. Your father performs research for a living. Him and almost everyone living in this part of town. You figure. Interesting. I need more information. Hey there! Out for a straw or something? Mm, nothing new here. Something smells divine. Uh, some cleric is conjuring up food there. It's the girl! Good day, gentlemen! Hello! Uh, am I glad to see you? What seems to be the trouble? Well, I'm kinda stuck. What do you mean by that? Uh, I've got this puzzle on my hands that's been putting me through the ringer. A puzzle, you say? Well, you're talking to the right guy. Good! See, it's about this one thing that happened with my dad's research. All the deads are out researching. Well, maybe not all of them. One of them is lost in a tunnel. Through the course of his research, dad discovered a very important number. Mark it on a slip of paper. It's been torn up. It's a puzzle. It's a jigsaw puzzle. Except it's not been cut with a saw, it's been torn to shreds. <sighs> Straight pieces. This is a corner. And the pieces don't snap into place, like they did with other puzzles like this in the games, like with the picture in the first game. That's pointy. <sighs> oh. 
Just assembling a piece of paper. I can't even understand anything there. Four! Yeah, there's a number. Seventy-four! <laughs> as good as soul. I knew it! <laughs> Sneaky! He helped him dispose of the evidence. But what was it evidence for? Or maybe a secret code? Oh wow! Thanks for working that out to me! For me? I can't wait to tell my mom! He's going to freak out! All oh, right, she uh, she tore it up because he mistook it for trash. It's no trouble, miss. Like any gentleman worth his salt, I live to serve. Ooh, the butler is dressed in blue. We must meet Flora at the hotel. Butler is dressed in blue. Hello there, nice to see you again. A man dances like a fool in an effort to fulfill his heart's desires. But only when the Hootenanny is over does he regret his actions. Such is the plight of mankind. It kinda sounded like the plot of a movie. I don't know what movie. But I like you were summarizing some story. Oh, I think I'm already in over my head. Maybe I should go. Hold it. The lesson here is simple one. I speak of love. People do strange things in the name of love. Shy guys and the girls. Yeah. Four shy couples are depicted below by red and blue symbols. They would all like to meet up with their respective partners for a date without running into anyone else in town. <sighs> Draw lines without crossing any of their paths.
Okay, now they can probably have their dates without getting bonked or jumped on or possibly spin attacked by a little green guy with a sword. Here's my answer. Phew, that's a relief. Love is a beautiful thing, but it can also be cruel. You must never hurt those you care for. Um, that sounds like good advice to me. <sighs> this place branches. Welcome to Maya Smiles of Books. Are you looking for anything in particular this fine day? Gosh, there's so much I want to read, but my allowance is so small. That's a story I know all too well. As a child I could rarely afford all the books I wanted to read. If money's tight you can always go read at the library. Don't you think encouraging customers to read at the library might be, you know, Bad for business? Perhaps, but if it gets more people interested in reading, I'm all for it. I like your enthusiasm. Say, all this talk of money and books just inspired me to think of a puzzle. I recently bought several rare books at a used bookstore. The total you paid before tax was 99 pounds. The image below shows the shelf you purchased your books from. Below each book is a tag listing its price, also before tax. Which books did you buy? Why are they mentioning the tax? Is that a Trick. Mm -hmm. Several books. <laughs> Let's see, it won't be a sixty. Thirty-nine. Right. This one's as good as sold. I knew it. Way to puzzle it out! Thanks! I have to be pretty careful with my pocket money, so solving that puzzle with a snap. Which it can be tough, but they make picking out that one special book that much more fun. Oh, I think this guy's new here. Hello there, sir! Oh, oh. Hello, back at you. So, hmm? is something the matter, sir? You don't seem as, well, upbeat as usual. No, oh, no, no. I'm as sunny as always. Are you sure something isn't the matter? Our conversation seems to be lacking its usual sparkle. Oh, no sparkle, you say? Hmm. Maybe that's the case. Let me guess, you haven't gone home to clear up that situation with your wife yet, have you? Mm. I wouldn't put that off any longer than necessary, sir. 
If there's been a misunderstanding, it's best to let her know about it straight away. I can't pretend I'm looking forward to that. But I suppose it's the best thing to do, isn't it? It certainly is. Go we'll talk with uh, your wife before the problem grows out of control. You can wait for her to forget her anger later. Oh yes, she does sound frightfully irritated. Let's check on the wife as well. Hello everyone! How's that lovely parrot of yours? What was his name? Greg? He's doing well, thank you! Good, good. Um, this is rather embarrassing to ask, but have you seen my dog of a husband around? I assume you're referring to Rudo. Yes, that's the one. Actually, we saw him just now, outside the shop. Just lollygagging about, eh? Like he hasn't a care in the world, is that what you're saying? Oh, when I get a hold of that man, I'm going to... Yikes, maybe I should have kept my mouth shut. Mm. Oh, new dialogue from her? Or from him, I suppose. Oh wow, something new has happened. Strange, the door's locked. The place was open last time we were here. Hmm. Perhaps the bartender needed to run out on an errand. I can't see anyone inside. Oh, what a rotten day! Why are you so down in the dumps, sir? Hmm? Ah, hey there, little man. It's nothing. I was just thinking about my son and I got all sad. He loved swimming, which got me thinking about this puzzle. You want to fill up your pool, but all the valves between the tank and the nozzle are rusted shut. You only have three extra valves to work with. Add the three valves you will replace to get the water flowing. Yeah, I'm talking all weird, I suppose. <sighs> okay, there's a line here. But there's four on the line. So we've got three here. No puzzle can stop Leighton's apprentice. I wonder how big my son's gotten while I've been away. Boy, I sure would like to see him. Oh, sweet. New minigame quest. Lunch. Oh, it's dark in here. Hmm. I'm good. 
more possible starting platforms now. Wow, I think I've got a good setup here. Oh, sorry about that. Must have been a hard spot of flying for you. Hard! Not hard! Really? That fell, eh? Well, now I can get a bite to eat. Gotta do my best for my family. Spark! But there's a gap. Hey, you there! Listen to me! I got something I want to tell you! Sure, what is it? I just cooked up an amazing puzzle! It's so hard it'll break your brain! Are you sure you're not cooking drugs? Oh, it's one of these logic puzzles! Hey, somebody ate my piece of cake! I was saving that for later! Somebody isn't telling the truth. That person is the cake gobbler. So. Hmm. Let's see. The face is lying. And he is telling the truth. C. And D. I'm supporting each other. Only one person ate the cake. Can't be B. If it's C, can't be C because D is supporting them. Yeah, C and D are supporting each other. <laughs> It's back to the drawing board. This guy. B supports A. <laughs> hmm. How about this? Phew. That's a relief. What? You solved it? Already? You know, I worked really hard on the puzzle. Could have at least taken some time to save her. Hm. A soccer ball. Excuse me, it's called football. Hmm. I have to use this one. All the lines are in position. Wow, that's it! That's my ball! Ah. Now I can start training again. You have just saved the career of a great football star. To be... Star! 
Yeah! A mini game is getting close to completion. So let me get this straight. Dimitri is building a time machine to go to the past and save Claire? Correct. Or at least that's what he said. Funny. He ran through every floor of the pagoda and I didn't see anything resembling a time machine. Excellent observation, my boy. Dimitri clearly had a destination in mind when he ran from the towering pagoda. I think he was heading to another base of this. The facility where he performs his time travel research. Is that what you were looking out for while we scaled the tower with Don Paolo? Yes, in part anyway. I'll lay everything out for you once we check in with Flora. Until then, I challenge you to think about the situation on your own. <sighs> Boy, am I glad to see you! I've got another job I need help with. Your game, right? But of course, how can I be of service to you? Yeah, Professor Layton is the name of the game. Well, the game series. Oh, I'm not cutting wood this time. Maybe I'm... Oh, I am cutting wood. I was gonna say I might be attaching extra fingers to someone. The board can be cut into two identically shaped pieces that look like the shape of an under. You can only make one continuous cut. It's one of those Where digital do forms that don't make a full triangle. Just as I suspected. I knew you were the man for the job. Now that's done, my work here is as good as finished. It won't be long before Midland Road is free of construction. Who else is there? There's Mr. Scarfy Boy, a Scarfy Man robot. It's the witch's house, there's just a bee. Let's do it with the observatory. But there's Welsh Lady and Max. Now this is the witch's house, what was the other one? Oh, that was Anita's. I'm not up to anything at the moment. Ah, gotcha. In other words, you're bored. Oh yeah, we don't have Flora with us right now, so we can't ask for her phone number or anything. I think he has a crush on her.
<laughs> Professor, look, welcome back. I'm so glad you're both safe. The same to you, dear. Hopefully getting out of the pagoda wasn't too difficult for you. Not at all. Big Rook was kind enough to lead the way. Say, speaking of Big Rook, where is he? Oh. Well, when we got back here, a moustached man was waiting down in the lobby. A man with a moustache? Was he dressed in black? Yes, that's right. He had a black uniform. That sounds like Shipley to me. Whoever he was, he walked right up to Luke and started talking fast and furious. At some point during the conversation, Luke got a troubled look on his face and said, Flora! Some very important business has come up and I need to take care of it immediately. Please call the professor to carry on with his investigation without me for now. Did he tell you where he was going? No, but he did promise to meet back up with us later. Big Rook is even more perceptive than I thought. He knows exactly what our next move is. Professor, is something the matter? I'm just thinking back to what happened earlier. Do you remember who first told us that we had traveled into the future? Well, it would be Big Rook, I believe. Ah, so you're thinking he's in on this? Yes, that's right. You have a visitor, Professor. Oh, who is it? Pardon the sudden intrusion, Leighton. Oh, Inspector Chelmy. What can I do for you? I've been thinking about something I saw while running about town. Hm, I don't know how to say this. I'm afraid it might sound a bit ridiculous. <laughs> What? Any weirder than time travel or hypnogas? Or everyone being a robot? What's ridiculous? Well, it just... You know, I could be mistaken, but I'm quite sure of what I saw. Do you remember our discussion about the explosion at the Institute of Polydimensional Research? Well, a few minutes ago, I spotted a woman on the street who looked just like one of the blast victims. Oh my gosh, you're talking about Claire, aren't you? Then you know why I'm so... Yes, Inspector, you're not alone. We've also seen the woman you spoke of. The resemblance she bears to Claire is striking, but it's coincidental. It has to be. Yes, I suppose you're probably right. Forgive me, I wasn't thinking clearly. Well, there's bound to be a logical explanation for this. If the similarity isn't coincidental, perhaps you can check if this woman is some relative of Claire's. Was Lady Dahlia related to Claire? Hmm, I'll take another look into her file and see if I can out see if I can find out more about her family. Oh, and by the by, you haven't seen Barton around here anywhere, have you? We've seen him on, in a restaurant. A Barton? Nope, I can't say I have, sir. I swear if he didn't have me looking out for him, he'd have been sacked from the force ages ago. Of course, I'm rather fond of the fellow, and I intend to look out for him until I retire. But still, at any rate, if you see Barton, Tell him his commanding officer is searching for him. Good day! So, where's our adventure going to take us next, Professor? Flora, this isn't an adventure, it's an investigation! Can't you try to take it more seriously? 
I'm taking it very seriously, look. I was just excited, that's all. Not all of us get to go on these kinds of advent I mean, investigations all the time. Plus you get to be with the professor day in and day out. Yeah, I guess the professor and I are always together. Well, I for one am happy to hear your enthusiasm, Flora. The three of us will get to the bottom of this case together. Let's head out. Alright, I'm done with this for now and I'll see you next time.